Embark on a journey to explore some of the most astonishing engineering creations ever imagined. These machines were designed by Soviet engineers and built by Soviet workers and are truly remarkable in their size, capabilities and audacity. From gigantic aircraft to formidable tanks, each machine is a testament to the human will to push beyond boundaries and achieve the seemingly impossible. Number 1. Typhon-class submarine, the biggest submarine in existence. The Typhon-class submarine is a massive example of Soviet military machinery that can travel from the sky to the depths of the ocean. The submarine was known as Akula Shark by the Soviets but designated Typhoon by NATO. These nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines are the biggest of their kind ever built. They were commissioned in the late 1970s and early 80s and were designed to remain under the Arctic ice caps for months and be ready to launch their deadly payloads at a moment's notice. With their double hull construction and multiple pressure hulls, they were extremely resilient and could withstand significant damage without failure. A fully equipped Typhoon-class submarine displaces over 48,000 tons of water when submerged and stretches an impressive 175 meters in length. They could carry a crew of 160 and were outfitted with 20 intercontinental ballistic missile launchers, each with several nuclear warheads. The Typhoons had amenities uncommon for submarines, including a gym, a bird aviary, and even a small swimming pool, all designed to help the crew cope with extended periods under the Arctic ice. Today, only one Typhoon submarine remains in active service. The Typhoon-class submarine continues to stand as a symbol of the tensions that once existed and a testament to the outstanding engineering capabilities of the Soviet Union, even though the Cold War is over. Number 2. The Mil V-12, Largest Helicopter Ever Made Helicopters represent a fascinating segment of aviation technology ingeniously combining the vertical takeoff and landing features of a hovercraft with the forward speed and agility of an airplane. Among these aerial wonders, the Mil V-12 stands out due to its extraordinary size and ambition. First taking flight in 1968, the V-12 still holds the title of the largest helicopter ever built. Originating from the Mil Moscow helicopter plant in the Soviet Union, the V-12, also known as the HOMA, is a remarkable demonstration of Soviet engineering expertise. It was engineered to transport heavy and oversized cargo, proving to be a vital component in military logistics operations. Boasting a maximum takeoff weight of approximately 105 metric tons and a capacity to carry up to 196 passengers, the V-12 significantly overshadows other helicopters in terms of size and capability. The design of the Mil V-12 is a unique fusion of traditional helicopter features with those of an airplane. It includes a set of rotors mounted on lateral wings, which not only provide lift but also contribute to the aircraft's overall control essential for managing its enormous size. Despite its groundbreaking features, the V-12 remained at the prototype stage with only two units ever built. These prototypes are now displayed in Russian museums. Nevertheless, the V-12 continues to be a symbol of ambitious aviation innovation and a testament to the prowess of engineering. Number 3. And 225 Maria, the world's heaviest aircraft. Aviation has certain records that have remained symbols of human ingenuity, ambition, and engineering prowess. Among these was the Antonov An-225 Maria, an aircraft designed for strategic airlift cargo. The An-225 was not only known for being the heaviest aircraft ever built, with a maximum takeoff weight of 640 metric tons, but also for its impressive cargo bay measuring 43 meters in length, and its unique nose gear designed to kneel down, making front loading easier. The plane also featured twin tails necessary for carrying large, outsized cargo on its back, such as the Buran space shell. Despite its immense size, the N225 was surprisingly agile. It boasts a top speed of 850 km per hit and a range of 15,400 km without cargo. The N-225 was a testament to the Soviet Union's contribution not just to military machines, but also to civilian technology. 
Although it was initially designed as a functional vehicle for the Soviet space program, the N-225 Maria found a new purpose after the collapse of the USR. It served as a commercial freighter for outsized payloads that no other aircraft can handle, continuing to capture imaginations worldwide with its unparalleled capabilities. The N-225 Maria reminds us of the extraordinary feats we can achieve when we dare to dream beyond the possible. Its existence was a salute to the human spirit of ambition and innovation. Number 4. The Tsar Tank, a tricycle design on steroids. In the annals of military design, few creations evoke a sense of wonder and bemusement quite like the Tsar Tank. An experimental land vehicle developed by the Russian Empire during World War I, the Tsar Tank, often referred to as the Netopia, Bat, or Lebedenko Tank, after its main designer, Nikolai Lebedenko, has been cemented in history as a perfect example of audacious, albeit impractical, engineering. With a design that eschewed the standard tread system of typical tanks, the Tsar tank featured a peculiar tricycle layout. It had two enormous front wheels, each 9 meters, 27 feet in diameter, and a single smaller wheel or roller at the back for steering. Its unique configuration made it look more like a bizarre Victorian-era fantasy than a functional military vehicle. Armed with several cannons and machine guns and protected by an armor, the tank was designed to cross rough terrains and trenches. The idea was that its large front wheels would roll over obstacles that would stymie traditional tank designs. However, in practice, it was found to be too cumbersome and mechanically complex, getting stuck easily during its initial tests. The Tsar tank may not have been a practical success, but it remains a fascinating example of unconventional military design. Despite its failure, it highlights the lengths to which engineers were willing to go in the quest for innovative warfare technology. Number 5. The Lun, Class Ekranoplan, The Giant Caspian Sea Monster In the realm of military machinery, certain innovations straddle established categories, creating a unique class of their own. The Lund Class Ekranoplan, a monumental invention by the Soviet Union, exemplifies such an innovation. This hybrid of a ship and an aircraft, often referred to as the Caspian Sea Monster, folds into the distinctive category of ground effect vehicles, or GEVs. Constructed in 1987, it harnessed the ground effect, the aerodynamic interaction between its wings and the surface, to glide swiftly just above the sea. Measuring 74 meters in length, and weighing a massive 380 tons, it merged the velocity of airplanes with the carrying capacity of ships. Equipped with eight turbofans located at the front of its wings, the Lund class could achieve top speeds of 550 km per hour. Although aerodynamically crafted, it was technically a ship, cruising mere meters above water. It boasted six anti-ship missile launchers arranged in pairs on its top. The Lund class at Kronoplan stood as a novel answer to intricate military challenges, delivering swift and powerful strikes against enemy ships. This Caspian Sea Leviathan was a striking embodiment of Soviet ingenuity in military engineering, a symbol of their bold and inventive approach to design. Number 6. Zil. 2906 Screw. Drive Vehicle, Vehicle and Screws. Soviet engineering has a knack for pushing beyond the conventional inventing machines that at first glance seem more at home in the pages of a science fiction novel than in reality. A prime example is the Zil 2906, a screw-driven vehicle designed to navigate through challenging terrains where wheels and tracks would falter. The Zil 2906, designed in the late 1960s, employed an unconventional propulsion method Instead of wheels or tracks, it used a pair of large cylinder-shaped screws. As these screws turned, they displaced the material beneath them, allowing the vehicle to move forward or backward. This unique design allowed the Zil 2906 to navigate across a variety of surfaces, including marshy terrain, deep snow, and water with relative ease. About the size of a compact car, the Zil 2906 could carry up to two occupants in a toll. The cabin was fully sealed, allowing it to operate in difficult environmental conditions and even float on water. While its speed was relatively low, its ability to traverse challenging landscapes made it incredibly versatile. 
While the Zil-2906 might not have been a standard addition to the Soviet military arsenal, it represents the innovative and unorthodox design approaches that marked Soviet engineering. Number 7. The T-35, a land battleship with five turrets. The T-35, a Soviet multi-turreted heavy tank, played a role in the Red Army during the initial stages of World War II. Its design, both imposing and impressive, earned it the nickname of a land battleship. The T-35 was distinguished by its five turrets, a unique setup not commonly seen in tanks from any era. These turrets, armed with a combination of cannons and machine guns, were designed to give the T-35 a remarkable range of fire, enabling it to target multiple adversaries at once. The main turret housed a 76.2mm gun, flanked by two smaller turrets each with a 45mm gun. Additionally, there were two machine gun turrets positioned at the front and rear. Despite its formidable look and weaponry, the T-35 had significant shortcomings. Its intricate design resulted in mechanical unreliability and maintenance challenges, and its substantial size made it a conspicuous target. Moreover, it was notably slow, topping out at around 30 km per hour. The T-35 was an audacious venture in tank design, pushing the limits of what was possible at the time. Although it did not excel in its intended role, this land battleship stands as a testament to the Soviet Union's early endeavors in military innovation and their readiness to explore bold and unconventional design ideas. Number 8. The Object 279, a tank designed to survive a nuclear blast. The Object 279 Coton, commonly known as Object 279, epitomizes Cold War era engineering, born from the intense apprehension of nuclear conflict. Developed in the late 1950s, this experimental heavy tank was primarily designed to withstand a nuclear detonation. Its appearance on the battlefield was anything but ordinary. The Object 279 featured a unique flattened disc-shaped hull crafted to deflect the shockwaves from a nuclear blast. Furthermore, it was built to operate in radioactive environments, equipped with a fully sealed hull to shield its crew from radiation exposure. Armed with a formidable 130mm cannon and two machine guns, the Object 279 was well equipped for combat. Its armor, tailored to resist shaped charges, was exceptionally thick, reaching up to 319mm in some sections, providing impressive defensive strength. Weighing a massive 60 tons, its innovative quadruple track design allowed for optimal distribution of ground pressure. This design ensured that, despite its considerable size, the Object 279 was less prone to sinking into soft terrain or causing bridges to collapse. Although only a few prototypes were constructed, the Object 279 remains a powerful emblem of the Soviet Union's determination to advance its military capabilities in an era dominated by nuclear threats. Did you enjoy this video? Let us know in the comments below. You can also check out other interesting content on the screen now. Thank you for watching.